Hello, my most amazing and awesome artists. Today, you're going to get a big piece of paper to write your name and class code on before flipping it over. Then you're going to be writing your name again, but in a style that you're not used to. Today, we're going to be creating our names a little bit abstract. This is pop art, meaning that it's a little bit different. We're going to be creating our names stretched out in a pop art style, meaning it's fun, it's gonna be colorful, and it's going to be a little bit abstract, not how you're used to drawing. So to start out with, you're going to draw two wavy lines. Not little tiny wavy lines, but big waves. Nothing teeny tiny, it needs to show a big curve in that line. You're going to draw two of those lines uh, near the top and near the bottom of your paper. But it's important that those lines are spaced out evenly. So what I like to do to give me a reminder is ghost drawing. If I'm not quite sure where the beginning and middle of my paper is, then I'm going to fold it in, giving it a hug, and just gently pressing down to show that my paper is divided into thirds. Then I can take my pencil and draw a big wavy line to break it up. I'm breaking up the space into thirds, meaning three equal parts. That wavy line is random though. I don't need to worry about it being perfect. That wavy line is supposed to be a random curve and as long as it's near that line, near the top and bottom, then you're good to go. Now we're going to be stretching our names out. What I mean by that, is that you're going to break your name down into syllables. If you need to clap it out like you do in mu music class, that would be a great idea. You're breaking your name down into syllables. So for me, that's Miss Quick Saul. You can clap it out. So I have Miss Quick Saul. If your name only has one syllable in your first name, then you can also include your last name. However you break your name up is up to you. The syllables are just a suggestion, but if your name doesn't quite fit on those three lines broken up into three syllables, that's okay. Mine just happened to work out where Miss is going to be on the top, Quick is going to be in the middle, and Saul on the bottom. Now the tricky part is going to be stretching out your letters to fit on the lines because this writing is not how you're used to writing. So first you're going to practice in your sketchbook. You're gonna practice breaking up the space with the two waves and then practice stretching your letters, capital letters, from the top to the bottom. You want your letters to start at the tippy top and stretch all the way to the bottom wave that you made, meaning that it might have to abstract your letters a little bit. If my U has a huge space, well then I have to make it take up that space. I'm stretching out my letters just like I was pulling down on them and stretching them way down and way out. I also have to end up squishing some letters like my A and my L's at the bottom end up being a little squished because that line starts to curve in and that's going to mean that they're squished. So these letters are being pulled and pushed by that wave. So it's like that wave is pushing up on your letters or pulling down on them. So I'm going to sketch mine out now that I've had some practice on my whiteboard. You're going to practice first in your sketchbook. When you show me that you know how to stretch out your capital letters and divide your paper into thirds by two wavy lines, then I will give you a giant piece of paper. Even after you practice in your sketchbook, I need you to make sure that you draw lightly. Draw light, light, light till you get it right on your big piece of paper because this painting paper is very hard to erase on. Now, if you do make a mistake though, it's okay because like I said, we will eventually be painting these, so you don't have to worry about erasing every little line to get it perfect. But you do wanna draw very light until you get it right, or you could flip it over to the back if you need, but you only get one piece of paper today. Oops, I just opened my ink marker and I did it too fast. The ink all came spilling out, which leads me to the number one rule about the ink bottles. Do not squeeze or push down on the ink bottles. If you do what I just did today, you will be using a Sharpie marker instead of the ink bottle and that's boring. So please make sure that you're using the ink bottle correctly and carefully because as you can see here, just a little bit of ink spill makes a huge mess. So that's why today you're gonna have scrap pieces of paper in the middle of your table before you get started with the ink bottle, which of course you have to ask me for. So make sure you show me your picture before you get your ink bottle and I'll give it to you. But then you should practice on a scrap piece of paper to make sure that you don't have any ink bottle explosions. Start to get that ink flowing carefully. You press down very lightly and it flows across the page. You don't press down on your markers or your pencils. So why would you press down on the ink bottle? It just 
just comes right out like a giant Sharpie marker. So please make sure that you're drawing very lightly and that ink will follow you across the page. Start at the top and work towards the bottom so you don't get any ink on your arms. But of course, because we are using ink and ink is permanent, you will be wearing an apron today just in case any mistakes happen. In case that they do like it did on mine, I did not pick up my paper or freak out. I made sure just to leave it there, I cleaned it up, and then I dragged that ink out so it didn't go to waste. I made sure to pull it down and make it into a beautiful oops or a happy accident, because there's no such things as mistakes in art class. So I make sure that I'm doing my best work, taking my time, and I'm gonna make an awesome abstract name here. Now these are what they're gonna look like. We're going to be using neon oil pastels next week and then painting them on top to create some awesome pop art. All right, artists, have fun today.